I went into it from the very beginning from both the, the man's perspective and the woman's perspective. Uh, they weren't just willing to settle, they were willing to, to work really hard to try to find that right person. That's why they joined services like this. That's why some of the men traveled halfway around the world. Okay guys, so today I wanna to talk a little bit about statistics. You know, from the beginning of time, and especially with the advent of the internet, everybody wants to throw out statistics that 80% of people are doing this, or 93% are doing this, and whenever I hear that, I always question the source. Okay, so where is that coming from? Where did you get that 93%? Did you do a study? Show us the study. Um, how did you come across that? And there have been studies done um, about the success rate of international marriages. Um, and those studies show actually, you know, the protocol of the study, how it was done, and then um, the results. And actually, on some of those studies, the ones that I have seen, and I've seen about three of them, um, they show that the success rate of international marriages is higher than domestic marriages, okay? It's no big surprise to me. Um, you know, I look around, uh, Many of the couples that I'm still in touch with or familiar with, and many of those couples are going strong and doing just fine. Yes, divorce happens, but I think at a lesser rate than compared to the domestic um, couples. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. And I've talked about that in the past. I mean, I think it's just a commitment that went into it from the very beginning, from both the, the man's perspective and the woman's perspective. Uh, they weren't just willing to settle. They were willing to, to work really hard to try to find that right person. That's why they joined services like this. That's why some of the men traveled halfway around the world. Um, the women were willing to actually go to these socials to try to meet that right person and then leave everyone they know to start building a life with that one person that they found. And, and I think that a lot of that is some of the glue that's holding these marriages together and I think that's wonderful and that's probably why these marriages do last longer than domestic marriages. And I can look even within the confines of just a foreign affair. You know, we've had several of our own employees that have met and married um, their mates through a foreign affair while they were working for us, myself included. And um, I was just thinking about that the other day and I came up with about 15 or so couples um, that I know of that have met and married while working with a foreign affair. And of those, um, we have about a 87% success rate. So 87% still going strong. I mean, that's well, well above the average rate. And many of those couples now have been married for eight, 10, even longer years. So, um, at least within the confines of just a foreign affair, we can actually document um, those successes um, and have something to base it on. Um, as for all of a foreign affair, or all the international introduction agencies, or agencies, it's very difficult to do because you know, those couples, once they get married, they're going on, they're living their lives, and they're not gonna be checking in with us every year to tell us you know, how things are going. Searching for that one special woman to complete your life? Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new. Check out our website at perudating.com.